What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I, I made several videos about Kanye West, okay? And those videos have done pretty good, and a lot of black men really appreciate those videos. At least one of them they do. But every black man that has watched, that's watched my channel uh, has been dumped by a woman. Okay, just go back and look in your blue pill days and you'll get what I'm getting ready to say. When a lady wants to end the relationship with you, a lot of the times it, 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 it could do that she found somebody else. Okay, it could, it, it, it could be that she doesn't like you anymore. But a lot of that plays into sometimes things that we have done to make her feel different. Being weak, okay, being a bitch as a man, that does happen, but also being account unaccountable and delusional, okay? And, and guys do this too, especially in the black community, because many of us, unfortunately, have not been raised by women. And so when a woman that we're dealing with, a wife or a girlfriend, when they break up with us or go to someone else, we want to blame it on the wrong reasons. When in actuality, everybody contributes to the reason, okay? Kanye West has been dumped. Now, we all saw this coming. Kanye West, to be fair, suffers from being bipolar, as they say. But, but Kanye West is a beta male. Despite having a lot of money, despite being very talented, as a man in a relationship, he's a beta male. Okay? He, he doesn't know how to deal with a woman from the position of strength. And to be fair, I believe that Kim Kardashian stayed as long as she could. I think most sisters would have been left his ass. But because Kim Kardashian came from a two-parent household, um, she understands how marriages work. She tried to stay. And Kanye West is now trying to blame why she left his ass on other things. Okay? And if you look at the presidential campaign, he's saying that, you know, this is the, the reason why she left me because I wanted to run for president. Okay? And then he came out and talked about the abortion and things like that. And, you know, and, 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 and he started crying and things like this. And, you know, that's what he thinks was the reason why she left him. But Kanye West was showing weakness throughout the entire relationship. He was a beta male throughout the entire, entire relationship. You know, you were, you were being a burden on the woman, the entire relationship. And see, now that you don't want to admit that you are a burden on her, that is why she left you. And we have to understand that a lot of guys are burdens on women. Okay. It's, it's just not one way, you know, don't get me wrong. Women are definitely burdens. Okay. Like emotionally financially we get it but it's also to be expected like women a lot of times don't understand long-term results on things and they live uh, they're, they're more prone to live day by day than you know plan for the future that's kind of that's kind of how women work but when you're a man that's like that women get very irritated you know women women look for men to help them figure things out and when you're the man that can't figure things out, doesn't matter how good the sex is. Because there's a lot of guys out there who are beta males. I'm pretty sure they're blowing women's backs out. But after a while, it's going to get old. And when a woman who is usually uh, wants to be, uh, you know, unaccountable is dealing with a man who's like her that's unaccountable, she's pissed. And Kanye West 
is blaming the problems on everybody but himself. But he's not the only kind of guy that's like this. You see, the black community is filled with a lot of this effery. You know, we got to be honest here. There are a lot of black men in their own personal dealings and describing their own failures. You know, why the relationship didn't work, why the business didn't work, you know, especially some of those niggas that if you talked up to them, you know, if they were, you know, a college athlete and, you know, why they didn't make it and stuff like that, it's always someone else's fault. You know, this is what, this is the one reason that did that. And really it's a culmination of a lot of reasons. All of them dealing with you. All of them about you. And a lot of guys have to look at, you know, and I, 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 I like guys who tell the truth. You know, a lot of brothers who have taken the red pill, taken the red pill, and, you know, let's say, for example, they come over to the black manosphere. A lot of guys can look back in their relationships at a younger age in hindsight and say, you know what? I didn't deal with this woman from position of strength. This woman wanted me to lead her. I'm just not a person that could do it. I wasn't in any position to do it. Until a lady got tired of me and went to a guy that can do it. And I think what, what, what guys need to understand, there is nothing wrong with understanding that. The problem is, is that when you want to blame the issues that you have caused on someone else. And a lot of times, you know, when you when you break up with a, when a woman, you know, gets rid of you, you think about it as like, you know, well, what if I would have did this differently? What if I would have did that differently? And you're starting to play in your mind. Let's just be honest, okay? For guys who have been recently dumped, and this has happened, the great thing about it is you can always get somebody else. That's the good thing. You're always going to make mistakes in relationships. It happens. The woman doesn't want to be with you anymore. What can you do about it? Nothing. But what you can do is, is use it as a learning experience. And a lot of guys try to do something like go back to the chick that just dumped you or want to go back or try to make amends to with it. No, let her go. Let her go. Because if she takes you back, you're not going to have that position to strength anymore like you want. So just let her go. Okay. I mean, for most guys, you're not going to be marrying a billionaire like Kim Kardashian. So you're going to be inheriting the bill anyway. You're pretty much begging the girl to come back to you so you can pay her all her bills again and be broke. So let her go. But you got to go back and look at, okay, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake there. And, and the red pill is not just about taking the truth about women. It's about taking the truth about yourself. You know, a lot of guys want to come into the red pill communities and, 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 and try to hold women accountable for everything. But when you're a bum and you make mistakes, you don't want to hold yourself accountable. It's it's not true. Kanye West is a beta male. He's emotional. He's a crybaby. He's a punk. All right. Women don't like punks. It, if you're a successful guy, I'll say this. It'll get you in. But it won't keep you. Having money, having success, it'll get you in. It won't keep you. Because once the woman can get past the fact that you have a lot of money, that you have fame, and she gets to know you for, for, for who you really are, she's going to be disgusted by you when she knows that you're a punk. And we have to be honest about that. Too bad Kanye West isn't. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy. Shake Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery always remains at an all time high. Check out the Patreon. I'm out.